One thing about witchcraft is that they are consistent. If they fail today, they'll still try tomorrow. And if you see that the symptoms of the particular predicament that is at work is witchcraft inclined, then you must give your loins. You will have to be consistent. Actually, many believers actually press into God to a level and when they break through and they say calm, the reason why they say calm is because the power of that reality has been quenched. But you see, those guys don't give up like that. They go back to use another dimension of witchcraft. If the first dimension does not work, they fold that one up and they bring another dimension of witchcraft. Every craft that is done in darkness and every weapon that is formed in darkness has a limitation. Just like an alligator can be very dangerous but he cannot fly. It's good on the ground. If he uses his teeth to catch you, my, my God. If he takes his tail and he can bring you down if you are within the range, the radius. Hallelujah. But he can't fly. So if you can leap, if you can fly, and the alligator is on the ground charging, charging, he's powerless with you. That's how some dimensions of which they have their limitations. And so when a witch uses a type and he finds out that you can fly, he leaves that one, goes to another one that has the advantage of flight. So let's do it in the air now because you are so good on ground. You now discover that the kind of attacks that you will begin to receive in that season are different from the types you have been receiving before. It's because the witchcraft changed. And so when a believer gets to win a particular victory, most times we settle, but witches don't settle. They go to do research. They go to explore, to find out more ways to still exact their dominion. Because there is a lust for control in the witchcraft cult. That's what they do. They want to control. And so when they try you on the ground, they see you can fly. Ah. They go back for research. Do you actually go back for research? When there's a rebound of situations, when some situations rebound, something you thought you had victory in before, suddenly you see it find expression. You did the things you did before, but it did not shift this time. Do you go back to research? Are you still with me now? I prayed some time ago, and I said, Lord, I want more of you. Is that a bad prayer point? More of you. Oh my God. And, after, and I, I prayed like that for months with fasting. You know? For months with fasting. You know the first thing that happened? I was expecting that, okay, maybe more of God, angelic visitations, deep revelations, and all of that. That God would just be showing up everywhere. But the only thing that changed, nothing changed. But the only thing that changed was that the environment became hostile. Now you want to connect a prayer of more of you with a hostile environment. Doesn't sound reasonable. Now, I was staying with a particular family, my relatives in that city. And they had a child that was one year or two years old. A child that was still learning how to talk. And then the child would now come into my room and say, Is this your house? Go to your house now. Why are you here now? Then you will know that somebody more intelligent was feeding the child with the words. Oh. All right? And I went to preach one time in Zaria. I came back to that city. And when I, when I came back, the meeting I went for was a mighty meeting, wonderful meeting. And I went to the office. The devil was waiting for me there. Scared of all kinds of stuff on Monday morning. Then I came back again. I was so hot. And I was trying to pray, but I didn't have the capacity. Because the hot had disconnected me from, from the line. A man that is discouraged cannot hear God. You must understand that. If you are discouraged. Discouragement is like an insulation. That brings about a temporary disconnection from God. Except that discouragement is taken away. <laughs> you are cut off. Now when I was in that mood. Suddenly. Because the door to my room had no lock. If you push it hard enough. It will slip open. And when it slips open it has a noise. Arr! And I was trying to focus on the Lord. And then the, I heard, Kr, Is this your house? Go to your house now. Now, if you are not someone that takes time to evaluate, you use a knife and kill that child. 
But you may not understand that it was your prayer that made God to allow turbulence in the environment. See there talks about being able to connect your circumstances with your request, with your dealings with God. A carnal man will not connect those circumstances to his dealings with God because it doesn't follow. How on earth can you contain or connect that situation of hostility? And that was just one of the strands of the situation. There were also many funny aspects of that situation because the person that was feeding the child with those words was also passing some side comments here and there just to make the place uncomfortable for me. Meanwhile, God had revealed to me that what he wanted to, me to do in that season was in that locality. And the accommodation I had in that locality was that place. That means there was nothing I could do about changing that accommodation. It was not in my hands, alright? Do you understand that now? I had to be there. And now that I had to be there, there was a circumstance that I could not change that was there. You need to be a spiritual man to see the connection. That is your spiritual activity that is giving rise to this situation here. I was asking for more of God. I was beginning to perforate the spiritual atmosphere that was covered by demonic forces and powers. And the demonic influences were touched. They were troubled. Then they came into my habitat and began to stir some stuff. Meanwhile, God knew that the things that they were stirring was going to bring me in the long run to that point where I have more of God. So the C we are talking about there is to be able to connect circumstances and situations to your dealings with God. Because it is so possible for you to... Am I, am I helping you? <laughs> I know we have grown small. That's why I'm bringing this issue. As far as I'm concerned, the devil does not influence me. That's me. That's what I do. The devil can operate in the circumstances. But I know that in order for the devil to operate, the Lord allowed him. Okay? There are circumstances also that I know that this trespass God is expecting me to deal with the devil. All right? I'm not saying that everything wrong is God that allowed it. But I'm talking about a situation that you pray about, it doesn't change. You fast about it, it doesn't change. People agree with you, it doesn't change in that moment. There is something about government that is at work in that situation. There is something about the position of God about the situation that will not make it change just yet. You get it? Oh, you're not getting it. Something about the government of God that is attached to it. Then if you see a situation like that, you need to go back to God and find out the connection. When I began to grow in God, my grace in the university began to fall. I prayed on it, I fasted, it didn't change, I anointed it, it didn't change. Well, I said, Lord, I accept, no problem, let's still go on. I must not understand everything. Years later, God told me that my, I knew, but he reminded me that my pride was connected to my academic excellence. And so, two of them cannot exist together. It's either he takes my pride away, or it takes the call away. Because my call could not survive in the habitat of pride. You get it? So since it, the call was more in its interest, so the grace had to go so that the, the pride would not have any anchor to hold. You see, so the government of God was at work in that situation. It didn't seem like a good situation to me, but you see, it was the Lord that allowed it to happen so. And if you are not a sensitive person, you will not see the hand of the Lord in the contrary situation. You get it? So in order for you to make progress, and to receive the ministry of the spirit of truth in its full scope. You must be able to see him. See him operating through circumstances that. You may not choose circumstances that you may not want. But you see when you begin to move with God. Irrespective of the circumstances. It means you have by an act of your will decided to connect with God. And to partake in the fellowship of the sufferings that has to do with everyone that is an ambassador of Christ. That kind of resolve is what leads to higher ranking in the spirit. You look at that. That situation went on. The situation went on. It went on. And you see, there are some situations that come close enough that it comes as close as your nose. When you see a situation like that, that is so close to you, it's around you. First of all, I need you to understand that what God wants to achieve first and foremost, many other things he may want to achieve, but first and foremost, he wants to do something on your character. When the thing is close like that, you can't run away from it. You sit back, it two steps, the thing shifts three steps, and it's always under your nose. When you see it like that, you must understand that God wants to work on your character. That there's a dimension of his oppression that you will not enter into if some character issues are not dealt with, and some fruits of the spirit do not begin to 
some dimensions of the fruit of the spirit doesn't begin to manifest you will not be ushered into that realm and so as far as god is concerned it is profitable for you to go through that situation because he's a custodian of the just scales of the spirit and the balances when he weighed the situation and weighed the outcome of the situation he now judged that it was better for you to suffer in this present time in view of the glory that will be revealed in you you see that calculation but many times the mind of a normal natural man does not synchronize with the way he operates and so in order for you to prosper uh, in the ministry of a spirit that is saddled with the responsibility of bringing us into reality you must be able to see his hand when you see his hand a situation that was intended to break you down will be the same situation that will lift you up neighbor the law of equivalent advantage and that law states that any situation that has the capacity to bring you down has an equal capacity to lift you up and they sold this young man joseph into slavery then from slavery became a prime minister and he could not be a prime minister in that land because there was no government in that land in fact that land had no sustenance no agricultural sustenance that he would have died there so they sold him into slavery so the, the potential of being a prime minister was now in the land that he was sold into you get it he now saw the equivalent advantage that was tied to the situations that he was sold into so much so that because he saw the spirit of truth he could discern the spirit of truth he could discern the purpose of the spirit of truth in that process when his brothers came being fully aware of what god did he said you guys meant it for evil but what god meant it for good so that he can preserve a posterity this process i went through was not about me it was about our nation will you stand and pay the price for your nation i'm talking about your clan your own generation the people that came from your own body will you stand and say okay all right the course ends here so he had understanding he was aware he was enlightened he could see what the spirit of truth was trying to furnish through the process and the injustice that he had to go through because he saw it he was able to reap the advantage from the affliction and the contradiction the law of what equivalent one of our brethren came to me and began to talk about uh, the tr troubles he's going through in his local assembly ah i said these things are normal these things are common this one is common okay so you keep your cool keep quiet keep going and enjoy the process and after you go through that season you begin to see that your ranking has changed and your intimacy with the spirit of god has gone to another level it's not all about fasting and prayer you will go to a process and the man that refuses to be persecuted will never grow. When you see persecution coming and you escape, just know that you are not seeing him. Because as you are going through the process, there's always an alternative. The alternative to react in the natural. React based on signs and symptoms in the situation. I've seen several people, I know that family problem is not good, but I've seen several people that it was through family problem that they were pressed into God. The situation had an advantage, an equivalent advantage. And I need you to understand that there's a level and a ranking that you get to as a husband or a wife in that situation that the level of authority you carry will squash that spirit that is telling that thing and you will win your family. It might take 25 years, it might take 35 years, we don't know. But you see, the Bible says, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. That means good will ultimately overcome evil the stories might be different the testimonies might be different the settings might be different but good we always overcome it but we need a man that will take sides with god even if he doesn't understand what god is doing so the holy spirit needs to be designed so that you don't get to fight he said i've seen the truth i've designed the will of god i've designed the purpose of the holy spirit you guys meant it for good you meant it for carnality god allowed it put me on the spot but i saw an equivalent advantage in this situation god did all these things because of generations to come so you may not 
Be able to understand the full scope of why you are going through what you are going through. But God's eyes are on nations and on generations, but we now created denominations. His eyes are what? Nations and what? Generations. Not on denominations. You didn't preach that. Preach it well. God's eyes are on nations and generations. Study your Bible, you'll, you'll find it. Nations and generations, but our own eyes are what? The Lord give you understanding. First of all, you must be able to see, discern the finger of the Spirit. It's when you discern the finger of the Spirit that you now understand the way God works. It is through process that we know God. Not through Bible study. The knowledge of God is experiential. It's not intellectual. It's when you have gone through the experience and God has revealed spiritual reality to you that scriptures will now make more meaning. Scriptures will be flat before your face devoid of substance and matter until you become willing to suffer with Christ in situations and circumstances that you decide not to deny his name and you go through the strain because of God you go through the strain because of Jesus suddenly your rank increases and God gives you the privilege of knowing the operations of the spirit of truth then you realize the scope then you design then you see that's how spiritual growth comes it doesn't come by speaking in tongues Thank you for watching and if this video has blessed you, please like, kindly subscribe and also tap on the notification bell so you can stay notified and updated on our new videos. And please do not forget to share the link to people so we can bless more people. And most importantly, we want to know how this video has blessed you under the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.